6.3. Now, do I leave that positive or make it negative? It's positive. Definitely, yeah, because when we did addition rule here, the bigger number was positive. That dictates our sign to us. Lastly, though, we have this minus 4.8. Hey, can you do 6.3 minus 4.8? Sure. Sure, you, you don't even need to change that if you don't want to. You can. You could make this 6.3 plus negative 4.8, but that's a positive minus another positive number. You can subtract that directly. So you can do 6.3 minus 4.8. Of course, we'll have to borrow. And you get 1.5. Positive or negative, folks? Positive. positive. The addition rule would say that even if you change it to plus and negative, the bigger number is positive, that remains positive for our answer. Would you raise your hand feel okay with this addition subtraction idea? Good deal. You know, I said I was going to give you an evaluation problem, and this really is an evaluation problem. It's just worded a little bit differently in the form of an equation. When you read is negative 4.3 a solution to 9.7 minus b equals 5.4, what it's asking you to do is really evaluate that and see if the mathematical statement is a true one. If it is, then the number's a solution. If it's not, then that number's not a solution. Are you with me? Yeah. So the idea of evaluation still holds for this. So we'd say, okay, I'm going to plug this number into the only variable that's up there. So 9.7 stays the same. The minus stays the same, but that b has to become negative 4.3. What am I going to do to show that that's a negative number, folks? And we're checking to see if that's equal to 5.4. What happens here? Yeah. I want you to notice something. Yeah, good. You're going to become a plus. I want you to notice something. If you forget this negative, look at, look at the board real quick. If you forget that, Sure looks good. That is a solution. Yeah. Do, you, do you realize that? If you forget one of those negatives, that is a solution. If you don't, if you do it correctly, then you realize this is really 9.7 plus 4.3, and you're asking, is that the same thing as 5.4? Well, I don't know. That looks like it's how much? 14.0. Is 14.0 equal to 5.4? No. No. <clears throat> No, so this answer is no. That's not a solution. But it all depends on whether you can evaluate and keep your signs straight, keep those things accurate. By show of hands, how many people feel okay with evaluation, addition, and subtraction of these decimals? Good deal, as long as you know how to add one set of numbers at a time or subtract one set of numbers at a time and keep the addition rule handy in your mind, you're going to be okay with it. Right now we're going to move on to multiplication and then division of decimals. See how that looks. See that the sign for the signs for multiplication rules still work and division rules still work with our decimals.